you want to make a cool aquarium background like the one you see in this video well stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it hello there fellow fish keepers it's Mike with the fish tank barn I'd like to welcome you guys back to another video if you guys are looking to amplify your aquarium experience go ahead and hit that subscribe button ding the notification bell so you don't miss any updates here on the channel so uh, with that being said, a little while ago I was looking to uh, get some aquarium backgrounds for uh, some of the tanks I've been building and putting together uh, the 125 uh, South American tank as well as the uh, new African cichlid tank uh, that we'll talk about uh, in a future video. I was really shocked by the prices. I mean, to do both of those tanks, it would have been like $1,000 uh, if you go to any of the companies that uh, sell uh, some of the nice looking backgrounds. So I started poking around a little bit and uh, found an interesting idea. So I've been playing around with it and I want to show you guys how to make these backgrounds. Uh, I've been pretty happy with them so far. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, the first thing you're going to need is uh, this Great Stuff Pond and Stone. Uh, I didn't find it locally in any of the stores around here, uh, but I did find it on Amazon. It's about $10 a can. So uh, good stuff. It's fish safe, made for ponds. So I've not had any issues fish wise with this at all. So the next thing you're going to need uh, is a spatula. I got this one at the dollar store, but uh, you can get any spatula or any kind of flat surface, uh, depending on how you want to do the textures. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need some dry lock because you are going to want to paint uh, the uh, background unless you want it black. But the uh, pond and stone comes out black. Uh, along with the paint, you're going to need a paintbrush. And then you're going to still want some sort of bucket to uh, mix the color in. And then uh, to mix your color, what I've bought here is the uh, Quickrete liquid color. Uh, it's for concrete, uh, but it works really well with the dry lock. Uh, there's a few different colors. Uh, the ones I would use are sort of the brownish colors. Uh, I think there's three or four different brown colors. And also there's a charcoal color that you can use uh, to kind of make it gray. Uh, just not, don't use a whole lot of it. Go ahead and I'll show you how I made it. All right, to start out with, we're going to start with our pond foam. We're going to go ahead and uh, spray it on the glass in this case, uh, just kind of like you see in the video. And then uh, what we're going to do is take our spatula and basically texture it out onto the glass. So you're going to do that for the entire tank, and then you're going to let that dry for uh, 24 hours, and then we'll revisit here after it dries. All right, our pond foam is dry now. As you can see, it's black. Uh, you can see it does have some... Uh, holes where you can see through the back of the tank. Uh, you can either go over it with another coat uh, or you can just leave it there and then you can cover it with the paint. You can do either one. Uh, so let me now go ahead and show you how I mixed up the paint and uh, got it painted. Okay, we're now uh, ready to paint. Uh, so we've got our white dry lock here in our bucket. And then what we're going to do from there, uh, we're going to take our concrete uh, colorant and go ahead and uh, mix it in. So let's go ahead and uh, mix the color in. Until uh, you want the uh, desired color. All right, we now have our desired color, so let's head over to the tank and start painting. All right, you can now see the completed background with the uh, painting process complete. I did end up having to put a couple coats of dry lock on it. Uh, it did take a good three to four days for all the nooks and crannies to completely dry. Uh, once that was done, I did wait another day or two just to make sure everything was cured uh, before I put water in the tank. But I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Well, guys, hope you guys enjoyed uh, taking a look here at uh, making the DIY backgrounds. I really think this has a lot of options for it. Uh, even You can even put things in the pond foam. Uh, I thought about doing that maybe at some point uh, if you were doing like a discus tank 
Uh, if you had some pieces of wood, you could even put those in there. Uh, so there's a lot of different options with the pond foam for sure. Um, I found it's held up pretty well so far. Uh, it's only been a few weeks uh, running here in the fish tank barn. Uh, but I really enjoyed the look of it. Well, I hope you guys found this helpful and can use it for yourselves. Uh, so with that being said, uh, if you're looking to amplify your aquarium experience, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ding the notification bell. I would also appreciate it if you guys go ahead and watch the videos that come up at the end here. Uh, and as always, stay fishy, keep on breeding, and I'll catch you on the next video.